Hey guys, I have been getting a lot of requests about my hair and my hair color and how I maintain it. I have a few subscribers who've been very patiently waiting for this tutorial, so I procrastinated as I always do to do my hair color. So if you notice I'm being quiet, it's because it's late at night and my boyfriend's asleep in that room right there, so I don't want to wake him up. But I do want to share this with you. Uh, I'm getting the keratin treatment done again tomorrow. Some of you wanted to know about a keratin update, and this is what my hair is like after four months. Uh, I had the keratin treatment four months ago, and now it's starting to get its natural curl back. It's starting to get some of its body. If you see back here, it's getting some of its frizz back. And I love it like this because I feel like it looks a little more natural. But, um, unfortunately, to get to this phase, you do have to go through that stick straight couple of days when you first do the keratin, and then a few months later, you know, slowly it gets wavier and wavier month by month, and then you start to really get your own texture back, and I really like it at this phase. The reason I'm doing the keratin now uh, is because I'm going to L.A. Uh, Wednesday for a movie premiere. Uh, I was in the movie Dolphin Tale, so you guys might have seen the previews and stuff for it. So the premiere is Saturday and I want to just be ready. I want my color to be fresh and I want to have my hair be really frizz free, which is why I'm doing the keratin again. Um, I don't talk much about my career and my professional life on this channel just because that's that's not what it's about. But if you do want to learn more about like what I do in the movies I'm in and the biz, uh, you can go to the link below me and I'm going to put a link to my like Twitter and my Facebook so you guys can see all that stuff and in the future I'll probably be doing some like red carpet looks and things like that. So this video is about my hair color and I'm going to show you guys how to color your roots or how I color my roots. I do it in a very lazy way. I'm a little embarrassed because a lot of the videos that I see of people doing this, they're very meticulous and <laughs> they um, they section their hair and they're like very professional. I don't do it that way because I try to save as much time as possible and, um, and it just works for me. So hopefully it will work for you too, but I'm not a professional hairstylist. If you do it my way and it looks a hot mess, I'm, I'm so sorry. Don't say I didn't warn you, but it works for me, so I hope it will for you too. I guess the first thing um, that I do when I color my hair, well, to be honest, I'm usually totally nude when I color my own hair, but I don't want to get kicked off of YouTube. So the next best thing is um, I take a garbage bag. Isn't this stylish? <laughs> I take a garbage bag and I cut, I rip a hole for my head and I rip a hole for my arms and I just put it on like a shirt and that um, protects you from the dye. Um, the other thing that I will do uh, on occasion, I don't do it all the time because I've gotten good enough that I avoid my skin for the most part, but if you don't want to get hair dye on your face or on your neck, take some Vaseline and put it around your hairline and around the back of your nape and that will prevent any color from sticking. So I do my little gown of garbage bag and I also put on gloves. The hair dye that I use comes with gloves, but I had bought um, a box prior to this one that had been opened, I think, and the gloves were missing, so I had to use these gloves. And so these are just some Clorox gloves that are disposable that I had in the kitchen. This is what I use. It's the Clairol Perfect 10 um, hair color and the color is 6.5A Lightest Cool Brown Glaze Nut. Eventually I might go one shade lighter and I will say I have tried a lot of different hair colors. A lot of people have had good things to say about like L'Oreal for example but um, I find that my hair usually turns like three or four shades darker than what I want it to be when I do L'Oreal and also sometimes it has a brassiness that um, that I'm not fond of. I've tried everything. Garnier, which actually Garnier is pretty good, but um, this is my favorite, Perfect 10, and it's funny because it's actually only supposed to be a 10 minute hair color that just 
washes out in 10 minutes. I leave it in for 15 or 20 minutes, but I have been in a rush before and washed it out in 10 and it was still just as effective. So I go, I don't know if this light, if you can see my roots, they're not terrible right now. You can see it a little bit. Um, yeah, that's, this is my natural color here, that darker brown. And then this lighter shade is the color that we're gonna be doing today. So I guess I would say that this is uh, a few shades lighter than my natural hair color. And um, I will say this, let me get a little helper here. When you're dyeing your hair lighter, um, if your hair is very dark, it will have a tendency to go red or orange and have brassy tones. So what I really highly recommend doing is to buy this stuff right here um, called Unred, and you can get it at Sally's, you can get it at any beauty supply store. Uh, Red Gold Corrector Plus eliminates brassy hair color. And what I do is I will drop, I think into this particular brand, I will put 30 to 40 drops of this in it just to eliminate some of the brassiness from my hair, and it really works. The other thing that is great for brassiness um, is a clarifying shampoo, but I have keratin in my hair, and I can't use anything that has uh, sulfates in it, so the next best, best thing, actually, this might be the first best thing. This is, it's natural and it, it's amazing. It's an apple cider vinegar rinse. And I'll make a separate video where I go through that. But if you just rinse some apple cider vinegar through your hair, it will naturally clarify your hair and help take the brassiness out. So that's a little trick. I have another uh, apple cider vinegar video uh, that I did not too long ago about the benefits of drinking it. And so this is another use for it. You can also put it on your skin to eliminate breakouts. So here's my Clear All Perfect 10. What time are we at here? My little thing doesn't tell me how long I'm taking, so I'm sorry if I'm rambling. Okay, and here's what comes in here. What it normally comes with um, directions, and in the directions are a pair of plastic gloves, but as I said, I've had to open this and, and get other gloves already. Um, then you'll see you have this bottle here. It says two color activating cream. This one says one high gloss color cream. I know it's all backwards on the camera. Um, and then the last thing that you have is this little tube of color seal intensive conditioning cream. And this is a great conditioner that helps keep your color in and keeps your hair moisturized. So you'll use this when you wash out your color afterwards. No shampoo, just wash out your color, Leave this in for a couple minutes and wash that out. Last thing that's in the box is this little guy right here. And this is just a different option other than this tip of putting your color in. Um, I actually find that it works better for me for doing my roots. I generally put this on and I'll show you what I do. So I take two here, I open it up, and then you take your bottle that says one, or your tube that says one. Open it up, and on the top of the cap, there's a little point, a little spike, and you use that to open it up. You just turn it upside down and, and open it like that. Okay, and you hear a little pop, and that means that this is open. So what I do is I take all of the contents of one and I pour it into two. I'm gonna do it down here because it's gonna fall all over the computer if I hold it like that. And I just squeeze it really, really, well so that everything is out of there. Then, and of course this is optional, but if you have your unread, this would be the time to drop, um, I believe it's 10 drops for every two ounces. I forget what the exact measurement is, but I do know that the appropriate measurement for this with everything in it is between 30 and 40 drops. I did it 35 drops of that close up my bottle. I'm going to leave the cap on and I'm just going to shake it. I'm going to shake the crap out of it. Like really get it mixed up good. Uh, 
Now that this is shaken up really nicely, I'm going to remove the top carefully. Okay. I want to take this top here and just replace it. Um, now this is the part where I'm a little bit lazy about how I color my hair. As long as I feel that my entire scalp is saturated, I'm confident that I have full coverage of my roots. I don't section my hair necessarily. The only sectioning that I do is I first part it all the way down the middle, in, like all the way down the back of my head and part my hair up like that. And I start applying the hair dye by going just doing the roots along this part here. You know, and you just do the roots. Um, a lot of people say don't touch your scalp. I get very close to my scalp. And I go all the way back. I follow that part. You can feel it with your hands. And I follow that part all the way down to the very back of my hairline. Just doing little squeezes. And I blend it in. And I do it down this side. Now, if you were to do your whole head of hair, um, I would start at the bottom of my hair and work my way up because your roots die faster because it's virgin hair. So um, don't start at your roots if you're going to do your whole head of hair. Start at the end and work your way up to the roots. Also, I have a lot of hair, and when I do all of my hair, I need two bottles of this. Okay, so after I've gone all the way down, I made sure that that whole part down to the back of my head is, is covered in the dye. Um, what I'll do is I'll put it the way that I part it on the sides. So sometimes I part my hair in the middle, and sometimes I part it like this. And I do it just like this, a messy part. I don't do it with a comb. And I put my hair exactly the way I normally part it, except I do the part all the way down. And I do the same thing. I just put that color all along my side part and all the way down the back of that part. Then I'll do the same thing on this side, because sometimes I part my hair on this side. I like to switch it up. But basically, I pick the parts that I use all the time just so I'm positive that at least when I part my hair, even if I do miss a spot, my parts will be covered. So, then what I do is I put my hair back, I push it all back. You can even put it in a ponytail. In fact, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put my hair in a bun, a sort of a bun, a messy bun, and I'm going to uh, go right along the hairline, just be very careful, again you can use Vaseline if you're not used to doing this and you think it might go all over the place, um, put Vaseline along your hairline. Sometimes I even squeeze a little bit onto my fingers because your hands are the best tools and um, go like that and then I apply it like that because that's sometimes you can get a more accurate uh, application that way. I know all you people in beauty school would probably be keeling over right now seeing the way that I do my roots, but whatever works. And for me, this is a lot faster than, um, than the sectioning, just because I have so much hair. Now, 
this you can use a mirror, um, but make sure that you get the, the back and the underside of your hair all here. All the way down. See, and I'm putting it in my hand like that, and I'm rubbing it in because I can feel better with my hand than I can with this bottle. Don't be freaked out also that even though you're dyeing your hair lighter, the color comes out darker on your hair. It's just like, you know, when your hair is wet, it looks darker. It's the same, same principle. So now what I do is I use my fingertips and I just sort of massage in that color that I just put in and I make sure it saturates. You know, so it's not just on that first layer. I'm going to go all the way around my hairline, down my part, around the back, and just massage it a little bit to spread the color. Okay, now I'll take down my hair. And what I just do at this point is sort of a free-for-all. I find the spots, especially in the back, I have a lot of hair, as I said, so I'll lift up half of it put a little bit of dye underneath that layer and do the same technique. Rub it, massage it and rub it. And also the part that's flipped over, do the bottom of the flipped over part as well. Pretty much the feeling that I'm looking for here is that my whole entire skin scalp is wet and saturated with color. Next I'll flip my hair over. I'm getting to a point where I really feel like a lot of my hair is saturated. Towards the end of the bottle, I will just start putting the color into my glove. Finding the places that need it. And taking maybe a finger of it and putting it in those places. Okay, now that I'm confident that my roots are covered, all I'm going to do, I put some dye, just a little bit, the last amount of dye on my gloves and I'm just gonna run it through all of my hair, just very lightly, very, very lightly, just to make sure that there is no line that the color is distributed, and really, really lightly. That's not necessary, but it's just something that I do. Then the last step, I will take off one glove, take my brush, which I don't have an attachment to the brush, so I don't mind that uh, if it gets a little dye on it. And I will brush through just the root part of my hair, just the bottom layer, and make sure all of that is distributed out. Just like that. I'm not going all the way through because I don't want to dye my whole head of hair. Just the roots. take my hair, twist it into a bun. Okay, so now that our hair color is applied, I'm just going to go through the rest of what we're going to do. I'm going to leave this in for a minimum of 10 minutes, a maximum of maybe 25 to 30 minutes. Then I'm going to go rinse it out in the shower until the water runs clear. After the water's running clear, I'm going to apply my conditioner that came in the hair color box all throughout my hair, leave it in for two to five minutes, and rinse it out. I'm also going to rinse out my brush in the shower because I spread out my color with it and it has some dye. Then I'm going to go straight to bed, and if you guys are, are um, doing what I'm doing and dyeing your hair before bed, make sure that you get an old towel that you don't care about and put it over your pillowcase before you go to sleep because sometimes hair color will run off onto your sheets and you don't want that. 
I've actually never had that happen with this brand, but it has happened in the past, and just better safe than sorry. Um, another very important thing to keep in mind when you're picking your hair color, if you're going lighter, please always look for a hair color that has the word uh, ash or cool in it because that will eliminate brassy tones. Even though honey brown, warm golden, this and that, caramel sounds like it's going to be so beautiful, trust me, I've already made the mistake for you, it's going to turn your hair an awful orangey color. Your hair will turn golden if you use a, a debrassing agent like the Unread and something that says ash or cool. That implies that it's going to eliminate brassy tones. It will still look golden. Trust me, it'll look golden brown. My hair has a gold tone to it and I use lightest cool brown or uh, a light ash brown. But always look for the words ash or cool. Don't give in to the honey caramel warm golden sunshine because you're going to look like your head's on fire and it's not going to be cute. So please feel free to leave comments below, ask questions. If you have experience with this hair color or this hair brand, please mm. share that with everyone because I know everybody, um, it, it helps to just hear what different people have experienced. If you like this, if you don't like this, if you prefer a different brand, write it down below. And uh, also, I'm thinking about doing like a drugstore dupe video for my hair and makeup red carpet look for this premiere that is coming up. Let me know if that's something that you would be interested in. Um, I'm having a professional girl do my hair and makeup, but I'm going to watch really closely what she does and see if I can't find at Walgreens or CVS similar things to use. And then we can do a red carpet recreation for this premiere on Saturday. And as I said before, I'll put the information about Dolphin Tail below this video. It comes out September 23rd, and I'll put the information to my Twitter and my Facebook and all that stuff so you guys can um, follow what I'm doing. But I'm about to go and uh, rinse this out now. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you to all my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to, to visit my channel and do that. I love you guys all so much. You always make my day so much brighter with your sweet comments, and I will be back soon. Take care, guys. Bye. One more thing I forgot before I head in the shower. I don't want you guys to be disappointed, so I'm just letting you know now. I'm not going to post the after results of dyeing my roots because I'm dyeing it the same color that it always is, and it's not going to look any different than the beginning of the video. I promise you. If something goes horrifically wrong and it turns a strange color, I will come back and I will show you and let you know what happened. But that never has happened before, so let's just assume that if you don't see me after this portion of the video, everything went smoothly. Uh, and I do apologize because normally I would, of course, want to show you what it looks like afterwards, but um, it's so late at night, my hair takes hours to dry, and I just can't wait that long. I'm exhausted, so I can't wait that long for my hair to dry to show you, but it's going to look exactly like the beginning of the video, except the whole thing is going to be the same color, and maybe in, um, in a couple days I'll, I'll take another video and show you the close-up. So um, I hope this works for you guys, and I hope this was helpful. Thank you again, and this time for real, good night.